I had so much fun feeding my uh, fire eel yesterday. I decided to give her a little bit more today. She's begging for food. And uh, I'll uh, move this food right over here where I can reach it easily. This first piece is a couple inches long. And uh, she's just right up here near the surface. Oh, it just suck, suck, and down it went. All right, I'm going to move this one over this direction a little bit. See if she'll see it. Yeah, there she goes. Oh, yeah, she got that one really good. Got to have that all on. Whoa! <laughs> Didn't quite get that fast enough. Here's another really good long piece. Oh, my goodness, I'm going to have to just keep her in frame. She is really a fast eater. There it went. I don't know if, uh, oh, <laughs> still biting a little bit. Chesting those fingers out. It's just nibble. <laughs> okay, she's still hungry. I'll give her this piece here. Okay, come on. There she goes. 20 inch long fire eel living in a community aquarium there she's biting my finger again just feels like not even rough sandpaper she doesn't have any teeth or anything like that here you go that might be all she needs to eat today she did eat quite a bit yesterday awesome fish they're called an eel but uh, they're classified really as a fish they've got gills like a fish and I guess even though their body shape is like an eel uh, ichthyologists or whoever fish experts are say that they're fish and you can see the beautiful coloration oh she wants more food I'll get her another little piece here see that okay oh my gosh it's gone all right Here's another little piece. It's gone. Here's another small piece. And it's gone. Fire eels have a big appetite. And uh, when they're just partially grown, they want to eat as much as they can so that they can grow bigger. I keep my aquarium tightly covered because one of the very last fish I want to lose is this big old this fire eel. She's the uh, only fish I have that will consistently eat out of my fingertips and I really care for her a bunch. That was all the fish filet I had cut up. I don't think I have any more. Well I got little tiny pieces over here but I was going to feed these to some of my uh, uh, fire belly toads but eh, she'll eat them. They're just little tiny bites for her. Whoop! Come on. Whoop. There you go. Here you go. Oh, <laughs> she's just g gobbling it. Let me get back a little bit further. There she goes. Fire belly toads will have to get a little bit different uh, food this morning. I'll have to cut up some other little fish fillets. Fire belly toads will eat worms, beef heart, uh, any really meaty little food. I wiggle it in front of them and they just go for it. That, <laughs> I better conclude this video at four minutes. It's <laughs> been a lot of fun feeding Cinderella my fire eel. I sure hope everybody out there in YouTube world enjoyed it. <laughs> it's uh, pretty much the same old thing. Oh look, my a knife fish, I call him utility, utility knife, has uh, smelled the uh, fish in the water and He's going to want me to get some fish uh, fillet down to him so that he can get some of that. Now, he doesn't come out and eat out of my fingertips, but uh, maybe some... Ooh, he's having a little fight with that Sindontus uh, petricola there this morning. Uh, he's getting a little testy, I guess is the word for it, because uh, he didn't get any of the food that uh, Cinderella got this morning. Cinderella is still looking around like, I don't know if I'm completely full or not. 
ordinarily she'd just go right back into her hiding area here in the front of the aquarium. I've got a piece of uh, rain gutter that I've siliconed some sand onto the side of to sort of camouflage the outside a little bit and to give it a negative buoyancy so that it doesn't get knocked around in the aquarium very much. Mm -hmm. Looks like utility. My knife fish got pushed out of his hiding place. He's going to want to go back in there as soon as he can. They have really amazing uh, swimming capabilities. This is a male knife, knife fish. In one of my earlier videos, I have a uh, video of him fighting with the larger uh, knife fish. Uh, my largest knife fish is uh, 12 and 3 quarters inches long. And my female knife fish is, uh, I think, right around 9 inches. And uh, they uh, pretty much have stopped growing at those sizes. I keep the male and the female the, together in another aquarium and keep uh, utility here uh, in this aquarium with the fire eel, at least for the time being. I think my ch chocolate pacosmus would have liked to have a little uh, fish fillet too this morning. And there's my little favorite rainbow albino shark. It's really surprising to me how a fish can just uh, really appreciate you and not be uh, frightened of you and uh, not all fish are spooky like uh, the uh, ball of shark here. <laughs> it knows that I feed it but uh, look how it just ignores me. It just swims over into a corner and <laughs> Pretends I'm wishes I wasn't here. My uh, albino biker is out looking for food this morning too. He smells the uh, fish fillet in the water, and there aren't any little extra pieces yet. I'll have to feed him in a few minutes.